Welcome back. We're here for another unboxing of uh, another subscription box. It is that time of month where we get Jamie's swag bag um, that comes in the mail before her Instagram live. So it just came today in the mail. So I thought, let's get on um, online and be able to unbox it so we can get in time to watch the um her Instagram live tomorrow. Usually it films the first Friday of the month, but tomorrow is the second Friday of the month. So sometimes if it's like the first Friday of the month is like at the beginning of the month, she'll do it the next month, the next week. So let's see what it is. It comes FedEx super fast. They just put it out um, on Tuesday. It ships, it gets here in like two days. So let's see what's in this one. Literally just came just a few hours ago. So got myself together and here I am always bundled up really great and here it is Jamie's makeup and always comes with a cute card always the same kind of um intro that says hey boo oh my god or omg I am so excited to share the April swag bag with you I just know you're going to be obsessed with these products Will, will be the determining factor of that. Don't forget to join me Friday for my Instagram Live to hear more about these fabulous brands. I hope you love everything as much as I do. And as always, thank you so much for supporting the swag bag. Love you, XOXO. Now, if you go onto her website or on her Instagram page, you will see the swag bag is sold out. You can get on the waiting list. Um, so I, I strongly recommend you do. I've been enjoying it. I've been in it for over a year. I keep doing it. I keep saying maybe, maybe not. But each month there is something I do love. I've been using a lot of the products. So, um, you know, some months are better than others, but there's always one or some kind of product that is really good in them. So um, let's see what's in this month's swag bag. Um, it's always wrapped up really nice. And let's see, this one's not um, especially heavy or anything. Some months we have really heavy products and there was a candle in one month. So let's see what's in this. It's packed up really nice. And let's see. All right. I will show you each one as I grab something out. And let's see what is in here. This is the first product. I'm kind of showing you before I can even see what it is. This is called um, Undefined R&R Night Serum. It is a reparative, calming, nourishing night serum and um, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, it says. I have never heard of this brand. Um, it's good for all skin types and tones, it says. So I'm not really familiar with this brand. I love getting new brands. Again, that's why I think we all subscribe to these kind of boxes for new products that we're not familiar with. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a beautiful bottle. It's heavy. It's glass, actually. Um, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's glass. Um, definitely or a, a heavy plastic, but I think it's glass. Um, it's, it's a beautiful serum. Let's see if there's a smell to it. There is a little bit of a smell to it. I'm gonna put a little bit on. I wanna see if it's more oily or if it's, um, it's a little bit of an oily consistency more so than, um, definitely an oily consistency more so than um, like a serum-y. It's not like a fresh scent. There is a, there is a scent to it. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's an oily scent though. Um, it definitely has like an oil scent to it. Um, it has this um, baku, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that bakuchul oil in it, and that's the scent that's in it, I believe. When you have that oil in it, that's the defining scent that I'm smelling. But um, there's vitamin E in it, there's a bunch of different oils, there's squalene in it, um, there's rosehip oil, that may be what I'm smelling too. So it should be really moisturizing um, and reparative. They're calling it calming and reparative. So this should be a really nice night serum um, oil. So I'm excited to try this. Um, definitely a new brand. Um, 
plant wisdom is calling is on here. So um, it says apply to face and neck nightly. So I love having different things to add to my night routine. So this is definitely something that I will add to my night routine. Um, this is called Slam Dunk by Bubble. And this is um, a hydrating moisturizer. Now, funny enough, one of my um, good girlfriends um, just got um, a product for one of, uh, for her daughter. Um, and I'm not sure, I think this may be the moisturizer she got for her. Um, this is a clean beauty brand, um, cruelty-free, vegan. Um, and this was one that they recommended for young skin. And it has one of those things like drunk elephant where you press in there. And um, so this is um, a very TikTok um, hyped up product that um, is recommended for very young skin. Um, I don't know how moisturizing it's going to be for my dry skin. Um, I'm going to look it up and see, um, but it is very good for young skin. So I may pass it along to her to um, give to her daughter if she likes it, because I know that was something that I had read for young skin. But I think it, it was formulated for youthful skin, um, but it was good for all skin types. But this is a very trendy product right now. And um, so happy to get this. This is, um, you can get this at um, Ulta. You can get it at CVS. It's available all different places. So um, very trendy product on trend right now. Next product we have here is, this is a lip smoothing recipe for fine lines. Um, I don't know where the brand on here is. ESN Beauty, I think it is. Let me open it and see if I can see it on the product. On here, I am not seeing it on here, but maybe I can see it better on the actual package. So it's Guava Mango Smoothie. It's featuring shea butter and peptides. And I don't know if you can see it there. You probably can see it better there in the light, but it's it's in white here is the brand name. So it's hard to see. It's ESW Beauty is the brand. And it's advanced smoothing lip treatment. So lip balms and lip smoothing treatments are all the trend, right? Right now, so um, always up for a new lip balm product. I do love my lip balms. So I'm happy to try this. I keep them by the bed. I keep them in the morning when I'm putting my makeup on. I always put a new lip product on. So this should be a good product to try. I've never heard of this brand, um, but I'm happy to try a new product. So that is something that's interesting. Let's take, oh, this is a, this is a trendy bag. This is very TikTok friend too, this Touchland. Everybody's getting these um, hand sanitizers. They were on everybody's um, shopping carts that they wanted to get. Um, I know during the Alta sale and I think during Sephora sale, I'm not sure if they have them at Sephora or more in the Alta sale, but these are very TikTok friendly what people are getting. I'm not sure of this fragrance. I wonder if everybody's getting different scents for this one. Sometimes she changes it up. Maybe they're getting different um, lip moisturizer scents, but I got Aloe U Power Mist. This is a hydrating hand sanitizer. So um, I don't know, I may hand this off to one of my nieces. They love these little TikTok trends. I, um, I, I, I don't go very many places that I need hand sanitizer, but to keep this in your purse. So um, definitely um, this could be something useful. Um, I am gonna be traveling, so this may go into my suitcase while I'm traveling to have, so that may be something good for the plane, but um, this is, I'm happy to have this. It is a very trendy product, and I don't have one to try, so I'm always up to trying new products and seeing what why this is so trendy and if, why people love this, so happy to have this. Again, this seems like a very trendy box. The next product I have is by Petite and Pretty. I love the name, Petite and Pretty. Again, I've never heard of this product. And let's see what it is. It's Petite and Pretty Beverly Hills. And I'm not sure what it is. So let's go ahead and take this handy dandy tool that opens boxes um, easily and see what it is because I can't tell what it is. 
It's a mascara. It is a fully feathered volume mascara. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna open it. I am stocked on mascara. And once you open this up to see the wand, it starts the process of um, the amount of months that it gets to drying out. So I'm not gonna open it up, but always excited to try a new mascara. I love trying out different mascaras for different volumizing, lengthening. I use the mascaras now for about one to two months and then I toss them. So I do go through a lot of mascara just because I'm trying to find one that by the end of the day, I don't have raccoon eyes. I have a very oily eyelids and they go down um, at the end of the day and I get the raccoon eyes. So I'm trying to find that one. Besides, I do love Blink Mascara. It's the original tubing mascara. I love it. They've had several, several formulas and I love their Amplify formula. Um, I haven't tried the Tarte um, tube one. People love that one. Um, I've tried Thrive tubing mascara. That one's okay. Um, but I still go back to the, the first original um, Blink Mascara, which I do love. Um, but it gives you like the little spiders in the shower and when you wash your face. But I want to try um, finding a good mascara that doesn't go without being waterproof. The waterproof ones, I just don't love. Um, I don't love having to scrub them off um, with a water with a mascara or a makeup remover every morning or every night before going to bed. So still trying to find that perfect mascara. So I'm up for the, I hope this one is up for the challenge. Um, we still have a couple more products, so let's see what's next. Oh, I do love Ilia. I've had their serum foundation. It's not my favorite, but I tried it when it first came out. It's not bad. It has great. It's one of the only foundations, the serum foundation, that counts actually as SPF because you use enough of it to count as SPF. So if you're looking for a serum foundation that also counts as SPF, that is going to be your one that works. It's a one and done. Um, I still love the texture of it, but I do love that it's a one and done. Um, I do love some of their other products too. Um, their mascara is not bad. It's It does, um, at the end of the day, I do get raccoon eyes from it. This one is um, their Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. Um, I have not tried their highlighter, so this is going to be a new product for me. I am not as much into highlighters anymore. This is a liquid highlighter. Wow, this really is going to add some pizzazz to the face. Um, in the summertime, I don't mind putting a little highlighter. This is a lot of highlighter. I'll never go through this. Um, I don't know how much highlighters are in as much as they used to be. Um, you just put a little here, maybe a little on your nose. Um, but there's a time and a place for highlighters. I feel like as I'm getting older, um, highlighters are not as much for, um, I think it's just gonna show my age a little bit, but um, I'll try it. I, in the summertime, it may be nice. Sometimes I can mix it in with a little bit of foundation and give a little bit of glow so I can play with it. I've actually used a little bit, like just to highlight in the eye a little bit um, to give a little pop there. So. Um, it's, it's a good product. I, Ilia is a great brand too. Um, it's also, I think um, Jamie really focuses on some of the clean products and I think Ilia is, I don't see it on here, but I thought it was more of a clean brand, but it's not identified as it. But um, some of them do have like the clean bunny on there. Um, and then lastly, we have a claw clip. I think everybody I would imagine is getting a different claw clip. I'm not a claw clip kind of gal. Um, they bother my hair a little bit, but I will put my hair up occasionally in it. You'll always see my hair up somehow. These kind of fall out. I don't know. I have a lot of hair, but it's thin. So um, I have, I do have a lot of it, but it's, it's thin. Um, so I, I will try this, but um, I, you know, I don't mind. I can always use some kind of hair product um, in there. So um, that is our swag bag. We got one, two, three. I, don't, I can't even hold them all. Four, five, six, seven products in this swag bag, which is great. I will, on, on below, put the value of this swag bag to see if it was worth it with what I paid for it. And then let me know what you thought of the swag bag. Again, let me review the products. We got, um, this is a kit, claw clip, claw clip, sorry. 
in like tortoise shell. Um, so that was in there. And I'm curious to see when I watched Instagram Live, what was personalized, not personalized, but everybody got different things. If this was one of the items that was um, personalized, it, this one does say it's $10 which seems a lot for a claw clip, but that is that still has a price tag on it. Um, we got by Undefined Beauty, this beautiful night serum, R&R &R night serum. I am excited for this one. I'm curious to see the price value on this one. Um, Ilia, we got a liquid highlighter. My color I got was Nova. It is kind of like a shining Nova star, so that makes sense. Um, by these are a lot of brands I'm not familiar with. This is ESW Beauty. We got um, a advanced smoothing, advanced smoothing lip treatment in the flavor Guava Mango Smoothie. So excited for this one. Also got by Petite and Pretty, a fully feathered volume mascara. And I think, I imagine this is not full size. This may be a deluxe sample size, although I'm not sure. It just seems like it doesn't seem like a full size mascara. We got the Touchland um, Aloe, Aloe U Power Mist Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. And this is very trendy right now and popular on social media. So we got that. And lastly by Bubble, I think is how you pronounce it. This um, Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer, also a very popular trendy product right now. And that is our swag bag for um, the month of April. What are your thoughts? I wanna know. So what do you think about this? Is this something you would be subscribing to? Is it something you think I should continue subscribing to? Also, is there a subscription box you wanna see me unbox? Um, there was nothing really for me to try on. I wanted to, um, but in the future, let me know if there is a subscription box you want to see me do. Um, I did the P. Louise box this month. I'm excited for the next month. That one looks really good. And um, we have a new Hallmark movie coming up on Saturday. So I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Check out Jamie as. Uh, Instagram live tomorrow. I'm not sure what time she's going live, but you can check out on her Instagram. She usually posts on there what time she will be going live and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and check you later. Bye-bye.